what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel my name is hansen and today we're talking about the mods that you need to make ground branch a even more immersive and aesthetically pleasing experience so i hope you guys stick around we're gonna be jumping into them we're gonna be giving you five mods today and subscribe and like for more let's jump into it Coming in first, and what should be a surprise to no one, is the Noveski rifle. This mod replaces the Mark 18 with the beautiful rifle from the company Noveski. The mod is created by Modern Lancer and also features some other add-ons with the mod, such as a raised T1 optic, a variation of the PEC-15, a tape pressure pad, a gunfighter grip, and a unique suppressor. This mod truly is my favorite rifle mod to date, and my load order will not be complete without it. Keeping on the trend of rifles, this next mod is my second favorite rifle mod, and it is the AK-105 Zenit Two-Tone, and it is the only reason I will run an AK. No offense to you if you're Russian and love AKs, but ARs for the win. Anyway, moving on. So honestly, at the end of the day, all this mod really does is change the color of the upper half of the AK. However, for it to make me want to run it, I feel that's important. I feel that means it was pretty well done. I feel it's balanced. It adds a little bit of a pop of color to Ground Branch, and that's why it's in this top five. You know, gas isn't really a thing we're having to worry about in Ground Branch right now. It's not a deployable, so it's not something the other team can deploy at us, so it's not really something we're having to worry about. Nevertheless, Sometimes I want it to look like I'm an SCP overlord. If you remember that video, then you're a real OG and you're gonna love this next mod by Modern Lancer, it's the M50 gas mask. What this mod does to work is it simply replaces a set of glasses with a cosmetic gas mask with two color options. Now again, this mod is cosmetic. It's not gonna give you any positive or negative for its use. So it simply adds that little aesthetic touch that I like when I play Ground Branch and that's why it's in this top five. Hey guys, I hate to jump in and interrupt this epic mod video, but I just want to say thank you. At the time of making this video, I'm only a few subscribers away from actually hitting a thousand, and that's humbling. <laughs> I truly wouldn't be here without you guys. I feel like this is surreal. I've thought of making a channel before and never thought I'd even get to a thousand. I thought my friends and family would check out the videos and that'd kind of be it. But now I'm starting to see this as a thing that like we can build together. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed and you just jumped into this weird thank you between me and my subscribers, I'm sorry it's awkward, <laughs> but a good way to fix that awkwardness would be to join the family. Uh, we play a lot of tactical games here, we do a lot of tactical game play, and I think you would love it here. Ask the other subscribers what they think about it, and I think they would say the same, so consider subscribing, and those of you who are subscribed, again, thank you so much. Back to the video. Now this next one is not really an aesthetic mod, but it helps you get mods that are more aesthetic. The mod is the Ground Branch Blueprint Editing Tool by Modern Lancer. I know we've mentioned Modern Lancer a lot in this video, but he's honestly one of the best mod creators for Ground Branch currently. So yeah, by default, he's gonna get mentioned a lot. So that's to you, Modern Lancer. <laughs> What this mod accomplishes is it makes the process of editing the nitpicky parts of mod customization as easy as a copy and paste. For some of the more advanced weapon mods to work, you have to actually edit the placement of some of the items, you know, the little dots that pop up when you're customizing something. And this mod makes that process super easy. This tool is the key that unlocks elite weapon mods for Ground Branch. And I've got a whole video on how to use it. The thumbnail looks like this, and I'm gonna have the card just above that so you guys can find it easily on the channel. All right, guys, I do apologize for the little bit of a wardrobe change here. I forgot to, or messed up the recording for the MCX that we're gonna talk about, so. That moves us into our next mod. <laughs> the mod is the SIG MCX Virtus in gray. This is by the mod developer XSATEX. XSITEX? If you're watching this video, let me know what how to say your name. <laughs> I'm curious. Excite? Excite. XSITEX. Interesting. Now, I threw this in after the blueprint editing tool because as you can see here, if you scroll down in the mod page itself, you do see that the GB blueprint editing tool is a requirement for the mod. And in my other video, I'll explain that you just copy this into that program and it then edits all the stuff inside of the ground branch files that need to be moved around. I know, pretty confusing, but this mod replaces the HK 416D. I love the look of the HK, but if I'm being honest as far as the aesthetics, I do prefer the MCX look, so I am totally okay overriding that. And guys, this right here is one of those elite mods that I was talking about. Please go pick this up. It's a fantastic mod. I love the look of it. I love playing with it at range. Check this mod out. Thanks for watching. I hope you found a mod that you also enjoy, and we're going to see you guys in the next video. Be safe, stay happy. Peace out.